Like the warnings seem kind of serious on here, so. It says on clothing, do not treat clothing while wearing, but I read that as do not treat while wearing clothing. <laughs> it's like, I don't think we should do this on YouTube anymore at that point. My name's Chastine. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this is episode four. No, this is episode five of my massive whole house decluttering, where we are going inch by inch, room by room, cleaning, decluttering, and reorganizing so that hopefully in the future, we can keep our house just a little bit cleaner going forward. Normally how this works is I pick an area of the house to clean and declutter, making sure that everything that gets put back in the area belongs in the area and has a system or routine in place to keep it maintainable. Today we are gonna switch that up a little bit because it's the bathroom and I was really grossed out by the floor. This is not a shadow, no. This is where the bath mat was and this is where it wasn't. This is how dirty the floor is. I'm guessing that's dust and hairspray and cat hair and my hair. So yeah, we need to clean that up first. So I made the executive decision to do the cleaning part first, or at least the floor part that I'm gonna be sitting on and putting all of my objects on. I may still have to go back, not may. I most guaranteedly, is that a word? Guaranteedly, guaranteed, guaranteedly? I most assuredly am going to have to go back and clean under the sink counter. Did I tell you guys what we're doing? I didn't even tell you what you're doing. Today's episode five, where we are going to be decluttering the under the sink cabinets of my main bathroom area. We do have another bathroom in the house, but this is the one that we use the most often. And this is the one that I'm gonna show you guys. So instead of taking everything out first and then cleaning, I decided to go ahead and clean at least the parts that I'm going to be sitting on and putting objects upon. And we can get to the decluttering second. But I didn't want to be sitting on a dirty bathroom floor. So that came first. I was working in kind of like a clockwise or counterclockwise, if you will, motion around my house. Like I wanted to start at the entryway and then work my way around the living room, which I'm almost done with, by the way. But one of you guys actually suggested that I go ahead and do my bathroom because if I got my bathroom decluttered, I could move all the bulk toiletries that I'm keeping out in the cube storage system into the bathroom, then I'd have more room in the cube storage system. And that is a terrific idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. Plus, I just got some more storage in the bathroom because for an early anniversary present, my loving husband got me like a whole bunch more storage that goes over the toilet. I just asked for a shelf and he got me like a whole storage system. I love my husband. All right, let's see what we're working with. Now, like I said, before I can start on decluttering, I really need to get the bathroom floor sanitized first, but in order to do that, everything needs to be up off the floor in order for me to clean it. So, I'm going to go ahead and take some time to, well, first, close my shower curtain so that nobody makes the mistake of thinking I'm going to try to tackle the ring around my tub today, and then, second, take some time to just go ahead and get everything off the floor so I can clean it. Cleaning the floors might be easier if I had a mop, but since I don't, I'm just going to use some Clorox wipes. Well, look how much cleaner that is. Much better. So this has been working out pretty well for my daily use. Like if I don't immediately put it back in, it's pretty easy to get cleaned up quickly. But then like when I have stuff that I occasionally use, like my dry shampoo or my heat spray protectant or my makeup remover, then it just stays out here forever. And that I've still been kind of keeping in my little like caddy thing that keeps falling out. I don't know if it's realistic, but I would love for my like more not daily use, but fairly often use stuff to go up here. That would be tremendous. I don't know if that's going to happen, but let's hope. Okay. So this is what the under the sink is looking like. I'm not really sure where to begin. I'm a little nervous that once I start taking things out, then there's just gonna be an avalanche of things that fall on me. You may recognize my frequent use basket. This just falls down on me every time I try to use it. Look at all the stuff sent in here. This just goes all... I didn't ask for an example immediately. Every time I try to be good and conscientious and put back the stuff that I immediately used, 
spills out all over the floor. Then I have to take like, it feels like 15 minutes of my life. It's probably like 30 seconds. I don't know. I had to put everything back in here. Clearly it's not organized, but it is what it is. And then sometimes it falls out again, which is even more frustrating. So this is just not a good system. We have got to come up with a better system. So this is definitely getting organized. We're gonna put this to the side. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the organization. It almost fell out right there. Organization in the bathroom because I don't really have a lot of room to work with here, so we'll, we'll see. I guess I'll just start like in the frontmost layer. The stuff that didn't get put away because it doesn't really have a home. Just random. Random. Ooh, medicine. I wonder if that's important. That belonged in my frequent use box, <laughs> but it fell out. I've been looking for it. So my frequent use just isn't that good. Not trying to run out of toothpaste anytime soon. Lots of Drano and stuff that I'm not using. All right, so. So that's the first layer of stuff gone. Look how much is left. Like this is just like a wall of stuff. Random, random, random. Ew, why are you sticky? It's not good. Sticky and broken, so you need to get thrown away. Oh, why didn't I get my trash bag? No, I'm finding behind. Ooh, I'm looking for that. I'm going to need a relaxing bath after this. Uh, now my hands are sticky. <laughs> uh, do I stop? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna live with sticky hands for this. Alright. More of these guys. Ooh! And there's some mold. That's great. That's what you want to find under the sink. Even use this anymore this type of thing anymore I use those disposable Clorox stuff but I'm scared I'm gonna run out of little like disposable pads and have an emergency toilet cleaning need so I'm keeping it just in case <laughs> does that make sense does that make sense is that something anybody else would do just me all right well so this whole thing I guess we'll pull out and sort separately just leave everything in there I'm kind of scared we're going to five behind there not too bad. Not sure what like that is. <laughs> is that dirt? Cockroach droppings? I don't know what that is. All right, moving on. Extra toilet paper. Got to figure out a better system than that. Wipes. Christmas soap. This thing. This is supposed to be a helpful organization drawer. See how it like pulls out? But the problem is this bottom shelf is really too short. Like. For much to go in here. I mean, you, you do see stuff in here, but it's not like, I don't know. When we reorganize, I'm not sure this thing is going to come back because I have found it to be more trouble than it's worth. But I don't know. We'll see if I can, maybe this would be good for toilet paper. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. To be continued. And this thing of stuff. Yeah. I guess I should go through that. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Okay. Ooh, why is that buckled back there? Can y'all see how like, that's not good. It's like raised. Can y'all see how like not level that is? Like it's not even going down when I press on it, like barely. I'm not sure if that's like a structural issue. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I'll just clean it and ask my husband about it later. Unless anybody else knows what that is. That's gross, needs to be clean. Gross, needs to be clean. Actually, you know, it's not the worst. This shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's get to cleaning. Yeah, I was the smart one who chose to do this when I ran out of paper towels. So, Clorox wipes it is. Ooh, it's working good though. Look at it, getting all that, whatever that was. I love me some Clorox wipes, they work so good. Some of this rust stuff is just not coming off. Also, some of the sticky stuff. I feel like I don't have paper towels, and yet I really feel like I need my spick and span. I might just have to use napkins or something. Because I feel like the really sticky stuff, that's the only thing that's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to try to spick and span. Sorry, Clorox. You're not cutting it. All right, we're gonna try out some spick and span here, let it sit. It works so magical on the sugar. I don't know how to work on the toilet bowl cleaner. We're gonna douse that. Ooh, I'm making a puddle. I should pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, let's go back to the rust stains. The sticky part. This gross part is where there used to be some kind of like magnet or something for the doors. You can see on the door where it like is supposed to go, but at some point it came off and now it's just sticky stuff that's accrued every piece of dust and dirt that came by it. 
I have no idea when it disappeared before I got here, but it's just, it's just gross now. So we'll wait a couple minutes and we'll see. And I'll see if I can find something to wipe all this stuff down with that I just sprayed. All right, I'm back with the last of my paper towels here. We're gonna see if this helps. Ooh, not feeling good. Ooh, I don't know if anything gonna take that stain off. Y'all got any tips to get rid of toilet bowl cleaner? Is that just gonna live there forever? They need some goop gone. All right, let's try out the rust stains. Not much better. This is not making as much as different as the dust. Turns out like these stains are a lot harder to clean up than dust and mold. Yeah, that's a little discouraging. Maybe I need to, what is it called, magic eraser? Maybe I need to get one of those. Maybe I should get some contact paper. Just cover it up. And I can just switch it out when it gets dirty instead of having to clean it. How's that sound, guys? Is that like a legitimate thing to do? Can I just get some contact paper and throw it out each time? Ooh, look at that. Is that rust? Ooh. I don't know if this is doing anything or if I'm just scrubbing and wasting my time. All right, we'll hit it with some Goobagon and then we'll give up and just move on. Look how dusty my Goobagon is. I haven't used that in a minute. It's because Spig and Span was working so well. I clean my cleaning supplies. I know rust is not goo, but we're gonna give it a go too. Ooh, oh, it's just orange. I don't think that's the rust going. I'm honestly a little scared of this stuff. It seems like like, the warnings seem kind of serious on here, so I don't know. We'll see. It says on clothing, do not treat clothing while wearing, but I read that as do not treat while wearing clothing. <laughs> it's like, I don't think we should do this on YouTube anymore at that point. So while I'm waiting on the Goobagon to set, I'm looking at the bottom of my sink basin, trying to decide if I should try to clean that or not. And I'm just wondering what that, like, thing there says okay is this piece okay is that what that says what do you guys think that is it's like ooh, i hate the feeling of that i'm a weird like texture person it feels like chalky or something so i don't really want to try to clean that so i'm just gonna ignore the top and we're just gonna focus on the bottom are you done yet did you work i'm so impatient all right while we wait for the stickier stuff to settle we're gonna try out the rust stains Eh, not really doing much. I mean, it does say Goobagon, so I assume that's for sticky stuff, and rust isn't exactly sticky. Kind of the opposite. It's like gritty. So, if you're curious about Goobagon on rust, I would say no, not really. It is working on that kind of like sticky spot in the middle, sort of. Now let's get to the real sticky stuff. All right, Goobagon, do you live up to your name? Ooh. All right, working as intended. Oh, that's awesome. I should have done it on the doors, too. Let's try the big stuff. Yeah, not so much. Yeah, that's not working. Did work on, like, the actual sticky stuff. That was just sticky, but this toilet bowl cleaner, geez. All right, guys, help me out. What cleans up sitting toilet bowl cleaner? Try spick and span, Clorox wipes. Try Goobagon. I mean, I feel like layers are coming off. It may, if the answer is just elbow grease, don't tell me. <laughs> I want a magic bullet. I don't want elbow grease. Hmm. That might be as good as we get. I'm going to get another pass with the Clorox wipes because it's looking kind of damp back there. Not sure if you're supposed to be mixing these chemicals. No, don't do what I'm doing. This is not a tutorial. Get one more wipe and we'll let that dry out. All right, guys. So as far as organizing my over the sink storage, at first, you know, I started by kind of doing like the decorating stuff and because it's open, I didn't feel like I could keep too much out here. Like this stuff is fine, but I'm using it mostly as decor. And for toilet paper, I was thinking this would be a better place, obviously, than under the sink. Or what really happens is I'll pull this out and just leave it on the floor, but then that really feels messy. And when it's in here, it looks nice, like a hotel or something, or a person who has their life together. But I feel like if I put it in here, this is just going to become the toilet paper storage area. Now there's some advantages to that, like maybe it'll stay dry, but I feel like this is too valuable of real estate. Because let's see, like I'm just grabbing something from my high use pile. Well, look, yeah, like it, this looks small. And look how much like, this is only one toilet paper with deep, but I can get like three bottles deep in the corner. So I think this is actually a lot bigger than it looks. Possibly will solve all of my storage needs. Well, it's not going to be all of it. Plus this gets to look like a cute little paper towel pyramid. So maybe like in the corner here. I feel like that's going to get disorganized real quickly, but at the same time, it fits. Shouldn't have two of these. 
one of them light? Yeah, one of them's light. So I'm like using them both up. This thing never works. Throw it away, Chastine. I know I keep it in my frequent use pile. For, ew, I touched something wet. <laughs> Throw it. All right, what else is in my frequent use basket? I'm gonna use hair oil, I'll use this. I don't even know if that's somewhat frequent use. We'll hide that there. Okay, now, ooh. See guys, I've been hiding the stuff that I was using pretty much just like for travel. Ew, this is sticky. You know what? I don't like this. I have one I like. See, here's the thing. I bought this. I didn't like it. So I bought this and I do like it. But since I paid for this and I can't take it back because I really missed the time and don't have a receipt, I feel like I should use it up. But since I don't like it, I don't use it up. And I just hold on to it forever to punish myself for buying something that I didn't like even though there was no way for me to know that I wasn't going to like it. It's okay, Chastine. You can throw it away. Throw it away. An almost full bottle here. All right. Progress. Now this stuff, I think that's still good. Is there any hairspray left in that? Yes. I don't know about travel stuff. I feel like I need to make a travel basket. I'm going to put that back in. Ooh, my frequent use stuff is full of a lot of not frequent use. All right. Will one of these fit in here? Yes. Look how nicely that fits. Wow. I still have like a lot of room. All right. Bowl bath. Oh, look how beautiful that is. This is pretty enough. I might keep this out. We'll see. Makeup wipes, more dry shampoo. You may be wondering why I have so much dry shampoo. Okay, so I like to use the dark kind because it hides my gray hair a little bit, but the dark color kind is expensive. It's also name brand. So I get like the Equate version <laughs> that's not dark, but works really well. So I take up most of the oil with this one and then to cover up my grays a little bit, I go back in with the dark one. Anybody else do that? Just me? Okay. But it's like, look how much, like you get so much more in this one, I think. What does it say? 10 ounces versus four ounces. And this is like eight bucks and this is like four bucks. Y'all do the math. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good for now. Let's see what else we're dealing with. The end of a makeup remover that should go up there in high use. What is this? Oh, it's rusty. It's like some leftover stuff from vacation. I have so much like vacation stuff, like miniature. Ew, is that rust stuff? You know what? If it's rusty on the inside, I don't know how that happened, but it's getting thrown away. I have a whole other thing of toothpaste. Yeah, so miniature toothpaste. All right, now I have a various like collection of like a quarter left sunscreens. Hmm. All right, now we're getting into some self-tanning things that are a couple years old and a couple vacations ago. I feel like they're probably expired. And I'm not going to self-tan this summer. I'm done. The summer's almost over. It falls here. I've already seen people put up fall decoration stuff, which is crazy because it's a bajillion degrees outside. What is this? A hair dye that I didn't use. Not dyeing my hair. Not dyeing my hair. The conditioner's really good, though. I do want to keep the conditioner. Gloves for dyeing my hair. Is this purple shampoo? Yep, dang, it's gross. All right, so we got the top of this cleaned out. Wax kit. Tried waxing my legs and from my swimsuit area. Did not like. <laughs> Don't know why I kept it in case I got brave again. Testing. Just no. Deep woods off. Good keep. What is this? Curl cream. Did not like. Gonna get thrown away. Not dyeing my hair anymore. Shower gel, it's like five years old, really gross. Soft skin. Oh, okay, we'll keep that. <laughs> Natural glow, almost empty, years old, go that away. Wet ones, unopened. That'd be good for vacation. This was for my last vacation. The self tanner, I think I'm gonna throw away. The moonlight path, I might keep that for another vacation. Yeah, keep that for vacation. Are you sticky? I should wash you off. Let's Clorox wipe you down.
put this back in here. All right, do we want to start organizing this? What's in here? This is mostly razors and an extra toothpaste. I really should put all my extra toothpaste in one, like, thing. Okay, I need a designated toothpaste drawer. Does this want to be it? No. All right, this is a lot of travel stuff. I guess I could kind of organize this. Let's see. Travel soaps. Loose Q-tips. Well, that's not helpful. Little scissors. Okay, I guess it could be helpful. Travel tissues. Let's see what's in this bag. This is a nice little bag. Boy, I just have like repeats of stuff. Let's see. Who's this guy? What even are you? That's weird. I don't... <gasps> it's a toothbrush. I don't even remember owning this. <laughs> that's really weird. How old is this? It's cool, but like, have you been used? Because if you've been used... I'm seeing some residue here. This is really cool, but I have no idea how old it is, so I'm gonna throw it away because it does look like, it feels like toothpaste residue here, and I don't trust it because, I mean, it might not even be mine. Well, this is mine, so it's probably mine, but if it's mine, it came from the early days of marriage. Pretty sure you can't keep a toothbrush for six years. So this is pretty much gonna think, I think gonna stay like razors and disposable razors, so I might move, it would make sense to move my little, like this thing's cool, it's like a travel razor. So I'll move this down to the razor stuff, take the toothpaste out. So bottom is just razors and razor refillables and travel razor. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Just got a little razor for my face, for my fuzzy. So we'll put this down here with razors. Why doesn't that will make sense? Yes. Travel soaps, travel tissues. Okay, so I have travel tissues. I guess I should organize and see how much I have everything. All right, so toothbrushes and toothpaste. Would these all fit in here? Because that would be awesome. If I could keep like all the toothpaste in one area. Ooh, maybe that will work. Ooh, I'm gonna get excited if this works. Do I need to keep it in the box? Are the boxes wasting space? I don't know, but they fit. So this is gonna be toothpaste drawer. Now, toothbrushes, will you fit in here guys? Is that my only toothbrush? Toothbrushes. Do I have all my toothpaste here? I had another bag of toothpaste, didn't I? Yes, I did. Travel toothpaste. Well, lovely. Bag broke. Okay. Still have a Q-tip in here. That's lovely. Okay. I need to get a label maker. Toothpaste, toothpaste, toothpaste. Extra floss. You can go in there. So we got extra toothbrushes, extra toothpaste. We're on a roll. Okay, so here I guess. Here, we'll put the floss. Oh, another razor. You need to go down here with razors. Toothbrush stuff. Travel brush holder. Floss. Brush holder. Get all the tooth stuff together. All right, so now we have like travel. That is open. Oh my gosh, has that been open the entire time? These were like free from somewhere, so I'm just gonna throw those away. Yeah. Okay. Another hairspray. Deodorant. Got like a ton of deodorants. <laughs> Does deodorant expire? Because they're for travel. I don't really use them up. Wet ones. It's always good travel stuff. Soaps. Tissues. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Okay, that's not terrible. Will this thing fit on top of here? It's not touching, but it's very close. That makes me kind of nervous. Let's see. Let's see if this thing fits back in here on this side. Yeah, I guess that does. I wonder if all my storage stuff would fit in here. That's a good question. All right, let's go get the stuff. Okay, do y'all remember all my bathroom toiletries? Yeah. Let's see if this stuff will go in there. Whoa. All right, let's see if this stuff can fit somewhere in here. So I obviously have a lot of these hairsprays. That's not going to fit on the bottom shelf.
I seriously done, guys? That was, like, really quick. Look how much neater that looks. Like, that, all of that stuff was pretty much out in my cube storage. So, to, um, whoever recommended me do this next, thank you. Because <laughs> this is looking, like, awesome. So, let's revisit this. That's my high use stuff. Or, not high use. This is my, like, somewhat frequently stuff. The spray? I think this can go back down here. Yeah, we'll keep this one stuff together. Keep my current makeup wipes up here. There is room for it. This is looking awesome, guys. <laughs> and this is looking like I still got room to do stuff with. That's awesome. All right, guys, I guess I'm done. That felt super fast. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm getting better at this or it just looked a lot worse than it was. Hmm. I mean, either way, I'll take it. Like, I can't complain. So, thank you for coming on this journey with me. I have no idea how long this is going to be in editing. Maybe once I piece it together, it'll be longer. But that seriously felt like it took no time at all. I think it was because I was dreading it. I thought it was going to take forever. And it looked like there was a lot of stuff under there. But y'all, I mean, like, I mean, look at this garbage bag. Like, I actually decluttered a lot of stuff. I'm considering this progress because I threw away a lot of things that I've been holding on to for years because I just don't like to throw away half empty or full bottles of stuff. Even though I know it's been opened and nobody else is gonna want it and it's gross and I'm not gonna return it so there's no reason to hold on to it unless I'm gonna just do a really weird like science experiment one day so I finally threw it away like that's why like look at all that stuff I'm throwing away I'm really proud of myself <laughs> y'all tell me you're proud of me <laughs> I did a really good job I feel like I actually decluttered it you know compared to my first video where I decluttered a grand total of one things I did a really good job I let a lot of stuff go I'm okay with making the decision I'm not going to dye my hair, or if I am going to dye my hair, I'm going to go to a professional and not try to do it with all my home stuff. Made the decision that I'm not going to try to self-tan because that always, like, ends badly. Well, I did save one thing that wasn't expired yet, but if I don't use it by the end of the season, I'm going to throw that away too. So, I hope I can maintain this. I tried to put things a little more organized and things that, like, went together in like-minded areas. I really need to get on, like, the label maker thing. Like, I got my toothpaste, my razors, my deodorant, got my bubble bath, got my extra storage. Like, I think I did pretty well. All right, guys, I guess I'm going to wrap it up here. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you got a lot done with me or just enjoyed the ride. Either way, I'm really glad you could join me. If you like this kind of thing and you want me to make more videos, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.